Hello everyone, welcome back to Zach's Deck. Today, we have an exciting tutorial where we'll be setting up WireGuard VPN on Ubuntu 22.04, step by step. WireGuard is a modern, fast, and secure VPN protocol. Setting it up on Ubuntu is relatively straightforward, and I'll guide you through the process. WireGuard is a modern and innovative VPN protocol that has been gaining rapid popularity in recent years. One of the key aspects of WireGuard is its simplicity. The entire codebase is relatively small, making it easy to understand and audit. WireGuard is designed for high performance. It boasts faster speeds compared to traditional VPN protocols, making it an attractive choice for users who prioritize speed and efficiency. The active community around WireGuard contributes to its success. Many Linux distributions have integrated WireGuard into their official repositories, making it easier for users to install and use on their preferred platforms. To engage in this tutorial, You'll require a VPS virtual private server with unrestricted access to blocked websites, ideally beyond the confines of your country or any internet filtering system. I suggest considering Contabo VPS for this purpose. The link is in the video description. To facilitate packet routing between VPN clients and the internet, it's essential to activate IP forwarding on the VPN server. Save the file and apply the changes by running this command. Now, let's install WireGuard by running this command. The WireGuard package is available in the Ubuntu default repository. WireGuard uses a process called the handshake to exchange cryptographic keys between the client and the server. This ensures that both parties can establish a secure connection. Run the following command on the Ubuntu server to create a public and private key pair. You can display the content of the private key with the following command. Copy the key to a safe place. Never share the private key with anyone. This is a video tutorial. Before the video goes public, the VPN server will be removed. That is why I can show you the keys here. Let us now display the public key and save it to the file. Find your network interface name by running this command. Open the configuration file and add the correct interface name to the file.
change the file permission mode so that only root user can read the files. Run the subsequent command on the server to enable automatic startup at system boot and initiate wire guard. You can check the status of WireGuard by running this command. When it says active then you are good to go. Run this command to check the interface configuration and its state. We are done with the configuration on the server. Let us now configure the Ubuntu client. I will use the Ubuntu machine I'm using now to connect to the Contabo server as my client. Install the WireGuard package on the client machine, following a process similar to setting up the WireGuard server. Run the following command to generate the public and private keys on the client machine. Next create a configuration file like we did on the server. Enter the public IP address of your VPS server or Ubuntu server. Let us go back to the server and add some client information to the configuration file.
Restart the VPN server by running this command. Let us now connect to the VPN server from the client machine and see if it works. Run the following command on the client machine to connect the VPN client to the VPN server. Let us try pinging the private IP address of the VPN server. As you can see we are now connected to the server. The traffic from the client machine is being routed through the VPN server. This command should display your VPN server's public IP address instead of your client computer's public IP address. This is my Contabo VPS's public IP address. This means traffic is being routed to the Contabo VPS which is in German. Let us configure a Windows 11 machine as a WireGuard client. Download and install the WireGuard for Windows client. After installation, launch the WireGuard program. To create a new empty tunnel, simply right-click on the left sidebar. This action will automatically generate a public and private key for the Windows client. The configuration is the same even on the Windows machine. Add the Windows machine as a client in the config file on the VPN server and give it an IP address. Add the client public key that was automatically generated by the Windows WireGuard application. Restart the VPN server then try to connect from the Windows machine and check if it works. We are now connected let us see if we are able to access the internet. Let us use the Google Public DNS server instead. Congratulations! You've successfully set up WireGuard VPN on Ubuntu 22.04. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.